When traveling westward in the beautiful mountains of North Carolina, I always have the comfort of knowing that a home-cooked meal is there waiting for me in Boone. There all my friends and loved ones can gather around a table with some of the best home-cooked vittles for miles around. The Daniel Boone Inn Restaurant offers me a chance to sit back and enjoy the quaint country life that I long for during my travels. With an all-you-can-eat family-style meal, you just can't go wrong. Something for everyone's liking is brought to your table fresh made and it just keeps on coming. If you happen by on your travels, come on in. They're serving up some of North Carolina's best cooking. They've got all the fixings ready, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Daniel Boone Inn Restaurant, where there's a table waiting for you and your family, is located in the heart of Boone, North Carolina at the intersection of highways 421 and 321. Call 828-264-8657 for seasonal hours and check them out online at danielboonin.com. Hi there. My name is Bradley Archer, and this is Philip Henderson. Hi. Uh, we're with Horn in the West, an outdoor drama that's performing here in Boone. And um, Phil, how, uh, what, what do you do with Horn in the West? What's your role? Um, well, I am an actor tech, uh, actor technician is technically what it is, um, for Horn in the West. <laughs> okay, and what exactly does that entail? <laughs> um, okay, so an actor technician is someone who is both an actor and a backstage technician helping with the show. Um, my technical part for the show is I am the assistant master electrician for Horn in the West. Um, so what that means is I help in getting the lights set up to run and light the show. Um, so you know, before the show starts I was helping to hang lights and circuit them, uh, program all the cues and everything. Um, also, during the show, I help with making sure the microphones are on the correct people who need microphones and making sure that their batteries are working and operational so that everybody can hear the yeah. wonderful story that's going on. Um, uh, for my actor part of the show, uh, I'm actually just a background person. Uh, I'm there most of the crowd scenes, kind of there to make it look like an actual village full of people, full of life, uh, and helping the story come alive. Um, my other acting part is I'm actually the understudy to Reverend Sims, which is who you play, my so <laughs> I'm, I'm your understudy. <laughs> that's, that's incredible, and that's gotta be difficult doing all of the technical aspect, and you do this at the same time, you're actor and technician all yes. encompassing? Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Um, during our rehearsal period, it was crazy. I would come <laughs> in uh, in the morning, uh, normally have to go through a fight call to rehearse our fights, get that choreography down, and then run off, do lighting stuff, come back real quick, do wow. some more acting stuff, run back off. It's, that's, yeah. that's great. And what's it like working for outdoor drama? <sighs> it's, it's an experience, Brad. Um, <laughs> The, um, gosh, what, what to say? Um, an outdoor drama, it's, you know, nothing like an indoor drama, you know, your standard theater as far as the technical aspects go. I mean, it's the sure. same, but at the same time, it's not. Um, obviously, for lighting, uh, this part that I'm on, the places to hang lights, lighting placement, all that, much more sparse, uh, very, you have limited amounts of places to put lights. And with those, you have to make sure you get them all set and fixed and focused to light everybody up on that stage out there, which is, I mean, it's pretty big. So right. uh, I think we used like 112 lights or something like that to wow. light the whole show. It's, it's an enormous amount of That's, lights. Yeah, yeah. that is a, a lot. And what's the biggest difference between something like that and working indoors like as sort of a contrast your biggest challenge i guess um well <laughs> like i said for uh for the technical side of it for lights uh again having little less room or less uh hanging positions to put the lights up into okay. um also weather obviously is always a factor when you're outside yeah so uh Thanks. worrying about rain strong winds lightning things like that coming in um, possibly short circuiting the lights or messing those up, getting them unfocused so that they're no longer lighting where they're supposed to be lighting. Um, that's always a constant thing that you have to worry about and check and make sure everything's good um, before the show starts and sometimes after the show starts to make sure uh, everything's working properly. And then of course as an actor, being on stage outdoors, it's not like the indoors. Um, you have to project a little bit more to make sure everybody out there in the stage, in the audience, uh, not in the stage, out there on the uh, in the audience, can hear you. Cause unlike uh, an indoor theater, 
uh, you don't have all the walls and different things to for your voice to echo off of to reach the audience. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And how long did it take for you for Horn of the West to get from point A to point B? How long did the whole th process start? <laughs> um, well, I came in on the sixth of June, um, and for that first week, it was nothing but tech stuff. Right. So from nine to six, it was. Cleaning lights, getting the lights out there, hanging the lights, getting everything circuited, bulbs put in, gels put in, wow, yeah. all that stuff. Um, and then after that first week, actors came in on that Friday and then began my actor and tech stuff. Um, and we did that for two weeks and then we opened. So three weeks, we went from starting completely anew pretty much, having to hang lights, put out speakers, all that stuff to shows open and we're running and going great. Wow, three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. That's pretty incredible. It is. It's, uh, <laughs> it's something else. <laughs> and Well, what's been your favorite moment so far for oh, the whole process? My favorite moment? Um, I have to say so far my favorite moment was uh, this past Sunday it, uh, it rained, uh, <laughs> poured down rain on us, um, and we still did the show. And that was interesting for me because I've never, this is my first outdoor drama. Um, and so it was my first experience ever doing something like that outside in the rain. So um, to be out there with everybody else in good spirits, running, doing fights, doing dances, saying the lines, being in positions, you know, making everything come to life while it's pouring down rain and then having the audience out there supporting us. And the audience stayed the uh, whole show? Pretty much most of the audience stayed, yeah. <laughs> a few people left like around intermission when it started to pick up raining, but pretty much everyone stayed. So oh, wow. to have all those people there supporting us, um, wanting to be there and enjoy the show and be a part of our story. Um, it was an experience, and I have to say I really enjoyed it. It was something else. Well, great. That sounds fantastic. Now, where can everyone uh, go and see Horn of the West? What, um, what, when, are you, we, when are you running? Uh, we run from Tuesday to Sunday. The yeah. show starts at 8 o'clock. Um, we actually recommend that you get there early. We have the Hickory Ridge Museum at the top of the right. at the top of the theater. It's really interesting. Uh, two of the guys, Brian and Davey, Davey. they uh, they helped us uh, with our firearms training and helping to make everything a little more realistic. Um, but it's a really cool place. We went there for a little bit, and uh, I, I definitely recommend going. It helps you get into the mindset of what these people were going through and what they were living and how they were living okay, um, wow. during that time period. So that's really interesting. But um, it's, at, uh, it's at Horton in the West at the Daniel Boone Theater, um, Tuesdays through Sundays, 8 o'clock. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. And uh, is there any information that we can get? Um, the website is? Uh, the website is www.hornintheWest.com. And then the phone number is 828 Two six four two six four two one two one two zero. Yes. And one more time. Eight two eight two six four two one two zero for ticket information. Yes. All right. Thanks so much, Philip. It Thank was a you. pleasure. Thank you very much, Brandon. And everyone out there come and see Horn of the West. Please do. <laughs>